Hello everyone and welcome to this week's top five. This week we are doing our top five Konami games. Konami games. No, you've got to do your voice. Kon- Konami! <laughs> what the hell is she going to do then? Konami. Konami. Yeah, um, so, um, well, obviously you know who Konami are. Yeah. Um, so, what we say, what we say every episode is, make sure you tell us what your top five Konami games would be. Well, it doesn't have to be your top five. Oh, your favourite Konami games yeah. out there. Is like, that what we need to say? Yeah, so we'll get into the video now and we hope you enjoy it. See you after. Super Contra. Super Contra is a run and gun style action game. It was first released as a coin operated arcade game in 1988. The game stars Bill Reiser and Lance Beam as they are sent to take on another alien invasion. This time the alien forces have taken over an allied military base. Bill and Lance must not only fight their way through former comrades, but also mutated forms of the same aliens they fought during the previous mission. This is a great game to play especially with friends with its action packed missions. There are many variants of different guns, including a machine gun, a spread gun, a bomb gun, and a laser gun. You get these by destroying flying capsules that appear throughout the stages. If you pick up the same capsule twice, it upgrades the gun you're using by giving it a greater destructive power. Overall, this is an epic game and you can enjoy hours of fun playing it. Fun fact! Wow! The poster for the arcade version of Super Contra is heavily based on the poster of Sylvester Stallone's Rambo, First Blood Part 2. Zombies, or if you're from America, Zombies Ate My Neighbours. Zombies Ate My Neighbours is a run and gun video game developed by LucasArts and originally published by Konami for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis consoles in 1993. One or two players can take control of the main protagonist, Zeke called Julie, in order to rescue the neighbours from monsters. Along the way you can pick up various different power-ups and weapons that can be used to battle the enemies in each level. You fight your way through a variety of different monsters including vampires, werewolves, huge demonic babies, squid men, evil dolls, aliens, UFOs, giant ants, blobs and giant worms. There are 55 stages which include 7 optional bonus levels. Once saving the neighbours in a level a door will appear and you touch it and then you will proceed to the next level. We have had plenty of fun on this game. It's not the most challenging or complicated game but nonetheless it's a lot of fun to play. Fun fact WHAT in the European version, the enemy representing Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th film series was given an axe instead of a chainsaw. Also, the death over screen is now green. Super Castlevania 4 Super Castlevania 4 is a 1991 action platform video game and a remake of the original Castlevania on the NES. It's the first Castlevania game for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The plot for Super Castlevania 4 remains the same as the original Castlevania and its other recreations. The player takes control of legendary vampire hunter Salmon Belmont, wielder of the Vampire Killer Whip, as he sets out for a dark, unholy castle in the year 1691 to destroy the evil Count Dracula. Along the way you'll fight many different bosses including the Giant Bat, Medusa, Slogra, Gaibon, Rodane, Orphic Vipers and many more. You can pick up a variety of weapons along the way, like the cross, the dagger, axe and the firebomb. These can help you to defeat enemies and bosses. You can also pick up pork chops to regain some health and power ups that allow you to throw more than one weapon at a time. So it's a very fun game to play and it can also be quite a challenging one too as it's pretty easy to die. We enjoy this game and it definitely deserves its place in this list. Fun fact WOW! On the password screen in the Japanese version of the game, a stained glass decoration displays Jesus Christ and a cross. This was removed in the international version. Silent Hill Silent Hill is a survival horror video game for the PlayStation and it was released in 1999. The game follows Harry Mason as he searches for his adopted daughter Cheryl in the monster filled town known as Silent Hill. Harry Mason and his daughter are on their way to Silent Hill for a vacation. As he is nearing the town, he swerves to avoid a figure standing in the middle of the road and ends up crashing his car. When he wakes up, he finds out his daughter is missing, so he heads towards Silent Hill to look for her. Along the way, you will have to solve many puzzles and defeat numerous enemies to progress. So what do we really need to say about Silent Hill? Most people who have played it will know it's a truly amazing game. You get so drawn in and immersed into the storyline, it's extremely well thought out. It feels like a survival horror game, and it can scare you, especially your first time playing it. Fun fact, wow! Midwich Elementary, the school you visit in Silent Hill, was actually modelled after the school building in Kindergarten Cop. (laughs) 
Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is an action adventure style video game released on the PlayStation in 1998. Metal Gear Solid follows Solid Snake, a soldier who infiltrates a nuclear weapons facility to neutralise the terrorist threat from Foxhound, a renegade special forces unit. Snake must liberate two hostages, the head of DARPA and the president of major arms manufacturer, confront the terrorists and stop them from launching a nuclear strike. During a training mission in February 2005, on Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska, containing a nuclear weapons facility, Foxhound and the next generation special forces rebelled against the United States government under the command of Liquid Snake. Their target was an advanced weapons system, Metal Gear Rex, a gigantic robot weapons platform able to independently launch a nuclear warhead at any target on the face of the planet. Their demand was the body of the greatest soldier who ever lived, Big Boss which, through gene therapy, they could use to create an army of ultimate soldiers. With the safety of the entire world at stake, at the request of the Secretary of Defence, Colonel Roy Campbell, the former commander of Foxhound, summoned Solid Snake out of retirement for one last solo covert operation to stop Liquid. So we've played this game a hell of a lot, we really like the stealth aspect of it and the storyline to go with it. Overall it's an amazing game, and if you haven't yet played it, we would highly recommend you do. FUN FACT WOW! The jump from 2D to 3D rendering technology remains the biggest in the history of game design. As such, before Konami and Kojima's team were comfortable with how to design things in three dimensions, they'd use actual Lego parts to visualise paths through levels and the size of structures. So, we hope you enjoyed the video. So remember, tell us down in the comments section what your top Konami games are. Yeah, which ones do you like, you know? Yeah. So everyone, we've got a week, another full week packed yeah. full of videos. Going yeah. 10 back to about Friday. So uh, another thing we might as well say, um, we, we're actually doing a Q&A next Monday yeah. for our tutorial episode. Put down in any video we've got, or like latest video, since yeah. we put the Q&A up. Yeah, all the Ask us a question. Yeah. yeah, could be absolutely anything. Anything, anything. We'll answer world. everything. You know? So, we hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Yeah, and we'll see you on Friday for 10 Packs of the Bank. So, goodbye. We'll do that. Woo! Ah! You almost fall out of shot. <laughs>